Hey everyone, it's your boy here. And why, yes, this is not me actually talking while I'm playing the game because for some reason when I'm playing, I'm so focused on playing the game, I don't really talk much. So I figure some of these times I'm gonna do a playthrough and have a voiceover where it's like a director's commentary. Now, all right, so the game looks prettier now. Right, so I'm talking after I had some mods installed um, because finally figured out how to get the mods working. It wasn't too hard. I was just doing something dumb, but finally did. And so I got a couple of the mods working and the game does look a lot better <coughs> than when it originally um, came out. I actually don't mind the, the hacking, I mean the, the lock picking thing. Right, so the lock... Yeah, the lock picking oh, mechanics of this game is is pretty good, so I, I do enjoy that. Okay, so this is where I screwed up, right? You're not supposed to be here. I don't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing on this mission. That's close enough. Right? So I'm like, what the hell? Never should have come here. Oh man, so he pulled his sword on me. I had to kill him, right? Had to do it. But. For some reason, everybody, all everybody started coming. And I'm, I'm only a level three, so you know, not that powerful. Got, got my fire and everything going. Alright. Now I, I literally just ran out of magic. So I can't do anything now. And I'm like, damn it, trying to wait till my thing charged and I'm backed up. Oh man, oh man, right? And I'm trying to get myself together and oh, they keep coming. Oh, see? So I started this whole thing over. Can a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! So I figured, you no, know, I get out. Try and figure this thing over again. All right, what was I supposed to do now in the first place? That was a little crazy. You <laughs> see, I finally realized that I don't even know why why I went in that building in the first place. Now this, I love the way they have this set up. And you look up and you look all around you and, and it's like, it gives you, it really is a truly epic feeling. This is because this is how dumb I am, right? I'm like oh, trying to figure out why I can't get this thing without even noticing that I needed to be at 25 and I'm only at 22. Right? What a brain that. And I'm like getting mad here too. I'm like squeezing the thing, thinking my controller isn't working, even though sometimes the controller doesn't really work. You know what I mean? This is one of the things where I, I kind of wish they would have allowed you to do it through the Oculus home too so we have gotten better you know support but at least you know it's still it's still okay it's still okay so i play around with this thing for a while here and how the <coughs> hell do i do my goddamn It's like a light switch went on when I finally figured out, like, oh, this is why I can't get anything. Damn it, I'm stupid. Oh, it cried 25. And I'm only at 22. <laughs> right? Dummy. By right, 30. So I was like, okay, for a dual 
wheel the, my destruction thing it, it adds more you know it charges it you know what i mean overcharges it affects this more so i'm like oh yes i'm gonna get that yeah that's kind of what's running through my head here i keep reading it over should i get this all right i have two perks you know what do i do what do i do i'm gonna pop one of these perks right now i gotta do it oh there it go had to pop that perk here you are here we are all right so i'm like all right i don't want to spend this other perk i want to save it i want to save it to make this things a little bit more powerful all i need to do is get to 25. that's it all i need to do is get to 25. that's all i'm thinking right now you know so back out of that check out a few of these things I want to keep my guy all destruction. That's all I want to do. I want to be. I just. Want, I want to bring the pain. I want to bring hell. I don't want to. I don't want to save anyone. Restore anything. I'm not even trying to restore my stuff. I'm just trying to be so powerful that I just kill everything. After I max out the destructions, then I'll, I'll, I'll kind of branch out to other things, too. All Right now, the way the controls is set up, like sometimes it's really aggravating and sometimes it's really intuitive. Okay, like um, I hate like um, having the voice connected to the um, the grip button. All right, that throws me off every time because I always accidentally hit it, and then the next thing I know, I'm fighting guards. So. I hate that. I wish I could switch that. I would I would actually move it to like my B button or even the A button and then move the item button over to uh, you know item in use or whatever button over to um to the grip. That would make more sense. You know like doing that like hitting the door open stealing things you know I mean it'll be like grip it grip it grip it not the A button and the A button should have been used for the voice because then that's going out of your way to push it you know Let's see I shouldn't have opened that door All right and then that little kid just stays up the whole entire time. I'm like, boy, take your ass to bed. I keep going back to the house and he just like, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit. You know, la di da, la di da. That's what I'm doing. Staying out here, trying to waste some time. And I'm like, okay, maybe if I go into the back door, this kid would have taken his ass to sleep. You know, that's what I'm thinking. So scroll around the back. Oh, now I gotta open this damn lock. All right, go in now. I don't. I think the kid is asleep. I don't even expect him or anything like that. You know. You're not supposed to be here. This is the last time I'll say it. I'm like, where did this kid come from? So I wait a little bit more. I'm like, all right. I keep getting caught on that mission, so you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna try something else for a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back to that one. All right? I'm like, I'm just gonna move on. I want to do something else. 
Now this I like. I like how you just pull this map up like this and you can kind of look over it and shift yourself around and kind of pick where you want to go. That That is awesome. I love the way they did that. And kudos to you guys for that one. Now my biggest pet peeve about this and I'm going to be up front right now. My biggest pet peeve about Skyrim is the fact that the animation was not updated. The animation should have been updated. I, I don't understand the ugly graphics, you know, put in the mod, fix, fix the ugly graphics. But come on, animation, the guy should have just made it look a lot more smoother. I mean, it's running at 90 frames now, so the janky animation stands out even that much more. But enough of my rant. Let's get back to me, play, my playthrough right now. All right, so trying to pick where to go or what to do, actually. I don't really remember. I think I just started because it doesn't show up immediately after you click it. I thought it would have been like show up immediately and I can just look around and be like, oh, excuse me. That's where I'm going to go to right over there. I'm trying to rewrite what is those mission. I wish it would be like a little voiceover thing like, hey, this is what it is. I guess I should pay more attention to when people are talking to me in the game instead of just trying to get through things. Listen and pay attention a little bit more. Would be kind of handy, huh? All right, so I'll keep reading these things, checking this out. Where is it taking me? I don't want to be in the same town. I want to actually get out and go do something so I can go kill something. That's pretty much what I'm thinking right now. I want to go kill stuff. Let me go burn something down. I want to, I want to, you know, use my magic. Oh, after playing this, you know, one of the things, though, I definitely could say is that we could 100% do Elder Scroll Online in VR. I would, hands down, I could do that. I'll be in there every single day. Bethesda, if you guys were smart, Elder Scroll Online in VR, that should be your next mission. No, see, it didn't take off the thing, so I'm like, damn, there's something wrong. I didn't do something right. Or maybe I would have thought, like, I'm going to try one more time because I was just out of this for a, a house for a while now. And then after this, I think I said, oh, man, F it. Get out of here. See, I told you, I was just kind of like, you know what, F it. I'm just going to keep going right about now. Like, it's definitely time I'm to go do something. I'm going to get out of town for a little bit, see what I can run into. All right, see, right now I'm like, I want to kill something. If I do something and kill something in town, I'm going to get myself killed. So I'm trying to find something that just takes me away. And I hate that I have my horse and I dropped it someplace and now I have no idea where my damn horse is. It 
which really makes me upset because I could, when my inventory is full, I can ride my horse and have, you know what I mean? But, nope, don't have my horse. That sucks, big time. Right now I'm looking to sell stuff, you know? But he's closed and I wanna lock it. I don't wanna pick the lock. I'm like, damn it. The time. It's time to go kill stuff anyway. Let's go do this. I get him back out here and kill some stuff. <laughs> Go back in the morning, make some money. In the meantime, building some experience points up. Hold on. Ah, I take my shoes off. I'm a lot more comfortable now. So, first things first, can I go get me another horse? Yeah, but then the place is closed. It's night. Oh, wow. I guess that's not the first thing we're going to be able to do. Let me go into the wilderness, kill some wolves. Right, so I go on this mission, right? I'm like, I'm gonna go find some wolves to kill. That's it. I just want to kill something. And now I'm like, oh man, there's a whole lot of nothing. Up my stamina a little bit there. Like, where is? the wilderness like I want to be attacked by something right about now where is it all right so On this side. Maybe that was my problem. I chose to go on this side. Well, no, I think it, it all worked out for the best, though, as I was doing this. It turned out to be something actually interesting down here. And that's what I plan to do with this game is just kind of wander around, get lost. Find a mission, knock it out. You know what I mean? That's why if it was like Elder Scroll Online, oh man. I'm just wandering all over the place. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I don't know why they couldn't have made... You could put Elder Scroll Online in VR. I think that should be the topic. 100% could have done that. Right? I think... What, I want to know what you guys think. Like... Come along. No more stops. We need to find our way to Solitude. Why yeah. Why even going to a wedding? This far flung end of the end of the <laughs> See, man... But uh, I'm saying, like, I want to know what you guys think. You know what I mean? I want, you know, what I mean, I'm going to ask you guys, like, what do you think? If you were playing Skyrim right now, do you think they could have done Elder Scroll Online in VR? Oh, man, that's just terrible. On the animation on that rabbit up there.
Yep, just running and running. I remember where I put my damn horse. See, now I'm getting mad about that. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I'm still mad about that. I still haven't found him. I was thinking about stealing this horse right here. But then I came here over and I'm like... Ah, father and me fuddle! Stuck here! Stuck! My mother, my poor mother! I'm at rest, but too still! Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But, ah, wagon wheel. Damnedest wagon wheel. I just had to be quiet Can't for a second while. I don't want to talk over him. He's so crazy. <coughs> Yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go right. to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me, but he won't. He refuses. Ah, convince Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. I like coin, so let's go make this money, you know? Alright, I'm gonna see what he's gonna do. Alright. That's all. I'm like, alright. So they should have given you more of an easier way to just automatically accept when you accept if you want it to be the one that's tracked or not. Okay, go up here, talk to this dude. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? <laughs> I just kicked the whole pan on him. <laughs> I just threw the pot all in his head. Sorry to wake you up. That Cicero fella? <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Man, he's a, he's a douche, ain't he? Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. Right, he's... He's, he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. So he's just pretty much just judging this dude, right? So, you know, I'm like, whoa. Bing, bing, bing. This is my social justice moment. Even though, you know, I really didn't care. It just felt like I should have done the right thing. So, I'm, I might have actually set this dude up. And this dude might actually be a complete, like, oh, there's terrorist. Something. There's a guard patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. You could report the fool. You know, say he's done something against the law. That will at least get rid of him for me. What do you say? Right? He wanted me to just get the dude arrested... And we don't even know if he's doing anything wrong. Huh, fine, suit yourself. But you're wrong anyway. Just look at the fool. I don't know what it is, but he's damn well guilty of something. Right, you heard that? So I'm like, nope. I'm going to fix this. I'm not going to let some innocent dude go to jail. He, he, he. I kind of hope he's some kind of terrorist, though. I thought we talked enough. Unless you've reconsidered my offer. That Cicero needs sorting. Yeah, I hope he does something really, really bad and evil, and then I come back and be like, Oh, no, I shouldn't have let you live. Look, I, I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But the fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Yeah, Look, you douche. Um, thanks. 
and I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. I got that. Because he's going to pay me. Give me my money. Right, let's get out of here, boy. It's funny how the computer works, man. They, they put the cop right there. Just you gotta pass the cop. You need something? Nope. Oh, poor mother. Her new home seems so very far. You, you did? He has. Oh, stranger. You have made Cicero so happy. <laughs> must have scared him off. Damn wolf just came out of nowhere. You saw that, right? <laughs> and it's damn that that problem. I always have that. Whoa, stop. Oh, uh, see, right? And I'm like, you know what? There's no point of even fighting right now. So I just run away, right? I'm like hauling ass. You know what? Screw this. Maybe I will get away and this thing will cool down. But no, they just keep coming. And coming. This is where it would have been nice to have the horse. I should have stole the horse. Well, at least you know that's what I'm thinking. Don't it's get any bright ideas. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? So I didn't even get my goal. Can you believe this? You know, I didn't even check to see if they took anything from me. So I just sent. I said, "Take me I to jail." You're smarter than you look. I don't even care. Do what you gotta do. Take me to jail. I took myself a nap. Divine sake, Skull. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Your man, Horik, if you know any true sons of Skyrim, tell them well, to I've been looking for that. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. The Legion taught us loyalty. Let's see. All right, this whole scene was so uh, confusing. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. I got you. Sir. Looks like that's it. Letter, got to go. General but I never even got a letter from him. You both executed. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Nope. Sorry, nothing. Oh my god, yo, that's the worst place to put that damn thing. Right, you see that? That thing gets me in trouble all the time. I'm like, you know, screw it. Are you alright? You seem tired. Oh God. I mean, start all over and just do this oh, all different. Divine sake, Skull. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak Your wants man, to see them. Your is wearing his old Legion armor. What I've been I looking for that. You? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Service, Your hands Skull. only. The Legion taught us loyalty. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He this wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. I got you. Sending Looks like that's it. Letter got to go. General Tully. Keep your eyes open. I'll have you both executed. Nope. Sorry. Nothing.
Alright, so. Figuring what I have and what I can get rid of. Alright, and now I'm trying to figure out what... I forgot what did I decide to do after this point. Oh yeah, I was trying to find that stupid letter. And I never did. So I got a letter. I didn't get any damn letter. Dawn started a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town is having nightmares. Alright, they having nightmares. What? Alright. Oh, I ended up pretty damn far. Yeah, from where I needed to be at in the first place. So now I'm like, what is going on? Where did I go and what did I need me to do? So yep, searching through this whole thing. I don't even know where any of these stuff is supposed to take me. They don't do a really good indication of where things just pops up. It should just stand out to you, but it never does. It never just stands out to you um, where you, what needs to pop up, and or it doesn't do it immediately. Like sometimes you have to get out of the map and then go back into the map in order to see the. Um, the different change in location that you're supposed to go to. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. I wasn't born in Skyrim, but when I served in the Legion, this land became my home. You come to Dawnstar at a bad time. Tempers are fiery. Not a single man or woman in Dawnstar has gotten a good night's rest in days. We keep having the same nightmare over and over. If mm. people aren't tired, they're angry. And if they aren't angry, they're afraid. It's made keeping order a mess. I, can't I hear Mara has sent one of her priests to the inn to try to calm people down. But I don't okay. know how much words we'll do now. Alright, let's see here. What should I do? Scald supports Ulfric's rebellion, and he doesn't like having a couple of old legionnaires living in his town. Uh. He's a fool. A dragon has attacked Helgen. Dawnstar needs the Empire now more than ever. Drowning your troubles in mead? A lot of folks are doing that these days. You'll want the Wind Peak in. As for work, you could try to catch Scald in a good mood, but your best bet would be working in the mines. They're on opposite ends of town. All right, so kind of know what I gotta Stay go out look of for. Trouble now. Nope. Staying out of trouble is no fun. Let's go get in trouble. Alright. Welcome. Let me know if you want. This is a local favorite. I think and I one got of a the clean first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Old Warwick's stead. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both battles and gold he had made. Thorin runs the inn. Speak to him. Alright, I'm trying to figure out what the hell Sorry. is going on. Need a room? Don't worry. Nightmares don't seem to happen for travelers. Have you heard about Aventus Aretino? He's a little boy. Lives in Windhelm. They say he's been trying to get in touch with the Dark Brotherhood. Alright, so you know, he's ready to spread rumors, right? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I'm like, nah, I don't need this stuff. I'm gonna go. So 
that's uh, that's the like the sell selling system, which is not bad. See ya. What troubles you, my son? And what might you need? Hmm. The entire town is being plagued by horrible like, Their nightmares. animation is so They're terrible. Like, could it have been a, like I'm a little bit more natural looking? About it. I mean, it's right up in your face, for God's sake. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares, not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her mm. terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcall the Temple. Perhaps uh, you'd right. be willing to assist me in that regard. That sounds oh, yeah, fun. That sounds awesome. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire. A nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Oh, it sounds like a bitch. Alright. Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display, like works of art in the non Of course, you're not gonna ask, like, "Hey, what the Whatever hell she does the case with that?" May be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Right, this woman collects memories. And, uh, I'm thinking this is gonna be end up being like a backstabbing thing. I work for the Wind Peak Inn. You should head on inside. Follow me. It's this way. Go, go lead the way, man. So for a second in this thing, where it looks like this dude get lost. All right, this is how dumb the AI is. I'm like, okay. It's good to finally have a chance to help these people. Helplessly watching them suffer is being difficult. So I go ahead, like, people okay, we're going this way. With nightmares. Right, still, I, I hate that the way that system is. It's unnatural. The tower on that hill is our destination. People around here call it the Tower of the Dawn. I'm not familiar with the tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcaller Temple was established inside. When the Temple of Frost near Crypt would right. rarely be That's seen in Dawnstone. They prefer to live a solitary existence. The temple's right, been abandoned. Can you walk any faster? Now. Come on, really. Ironic, isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a small shrine to Mara I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her. Perhaps my prayers were answered, and your reason for stumbling across Dawnstar is more than a mere coincidence. This maybe this will help him speed up a little bit. Right, it was getting on and on, like he was just was going anywhere. So yeah, I'm trying to move oh, things man, along. Wind. Right, so 
I do have my little haptic chair set up right there. It's, it's um, you know, a base shaker mounted to the bottom of my chair. And so when that wind rumble through, oh, it shakes through my whole body and it's like feeling the, the wind on me. I still get, I get like goosebumps <coughs> just from the sound of it, you know what I mean? And feeling the bass. Collecting stuff from these I guys. I want it all. I'm gonna make this money. I go talk oh. to this dude over here. Right, so this is that was nice. A little chilly here. Are we going in? Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. Oh they man! Were being plagued by nightmares, just like the people of Dawnstar. What? No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs. The priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. Mm. We're gonna unleash a whole bunch of crazy people. The Miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Now I'm thinking I should because listen to the rituals more. would last for months or even years. The miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. <coughs> Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Once we get inside, all will become clear. All right, let's see what happened. Yeah, let's see what's going me. on. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? I felt weird. He kept calling me my son, my son. I'm like, what? I'm a lizard, man. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Give me just a moment, and I'll have this open. Like, if they do this from the, the ground up, with just better graphics, well, I'm not saying now make I'm this game, just their next game they should put in VR also with way better graphics. That scene could have been so much more epic. Behold the skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. All right, so we're going to go into this inner sanctum thingy, right? They mustn't stop us. I'm like, all right, but I'm not going to take stuff because then it makes me heavy. I should just 
take their gold. Hell yeah. Damn it! The priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier. It better I be. Must check their library and confirm it can be done. Come all this way for nothing, damn it. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. You lying bastard! Can't believe you didn't tell me that. Well, I don't really care. But I was expecting more of a betrayal. I can't wait till you actually do that part. Yes, you're right. I should have. But I didn't know what to say. When the orcs raided the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters behind to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrong. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. So he's doing this whole thing out of guilt. He's not even trying to like help help the people. He just feels like I'm guilty for running away. We must so because of that, the skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. All right. All right, it's time to get out of there. I'm gonna go someplace for a little bit. See All what's right, going on. So I guess we're supposed to figure out something from the library to. It's just up here. We're certain to find more of the awakening. Well, people with me to kill. Here. Like I don't know why he couldn't have just opened until I got here. Right, he was kicking my ass. So I had to run away for a little bit. Because I'm trying to get through that mission. Alright, once again I'm just stealing um Everything's all real tricky, you know, you gotta just tap the the, the button. Alright, this is not bad. You know, I'm not actually reading this shit. But yeah, it's not I wasn't. a bad way to um the books this library used to uh, look and hope to get some experience All right but they don't give you experience for looking through the books so I'm Filled almost like now look at it. Almost everything's been burned. I hope the tome we need is still intact. Magically, I guarantee it is. Right, always is. So it always is. <laughs> right, I would love to get there and be like, damn it, the book is gone. We have to figure someone else out.
Now, see, what I'm thinking is going on, and it's and and no, I I, I don't. I didn't play this one before because I, I wasn't one of those people that finished Skyrim the first time I played it, even though this is way in the beginning. I don't even know what I started doing in Skyrim. I forgot that so far back. But I swear I think that um, this guy is like backstabbing us. I can't wait to find that out. You know what I mean? Because I, I can kind of see it coming. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. Yeah, see, what I think he probably did We're was... We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called The Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Yeah, I think what he wants is he wanted something... And he couldn't get it, so he's the one that released the gas and put the. He probably had. Hold that the skull of corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The skull has been out of touch for so long. I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level. Right, so what I think is he's probably the one that invaded with the orcs, right? And then released the gas because he couldn't get to what he wanted to get to. So he then um, came up with this idea of how to get those get someone else stupid enough to help him and I guess that's me you know it would really be disappointing to me if that's not the case because I'm doing this whole thing right now hoping for a betrayal I'm thinking this is going to be so sweet when it happens you know I don't know why that is so, is cool because I just want to kill this dude and so if he does betray me I get to kill him right so that's awesome. So I'm kind of just counting down to the whole thing. I just feel like there's going to be this one point where I'm just like, Oh my God, you asshole. <laughs> Burn him in hell. <laughs> Shock him. You know what I mean? I just can't wait for that. That's just going to be so sweet. So this is getting annoying. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, people. I'm like looking around, trying to find this stupid book, and then, oh, there he goes. Finally, I noticed something. They, I guess they figure, like, this dude is never going to find this book. I try to read it. It said to give any hint of how much of a bad guy this guy must be, or something like that. Nothing really. So I was like, screw it. All right, I'm still looking, still contemplating. What should I do? What should I do? I really hate that. I mean, I like the effect. Yeah, I hate that scene right there. And that, you know, and that button is really irritates me. Every time. Okay. Where the hell did he go to? Yes, my son. Yeah, I don't mind the what other one. I can help with. Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's torpor. <coughs> All right. This is going to yes. be good. The torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride. 
using dreams to travel distances in the real world. Damn, that sounds good. Let's do that. Let's try it. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina or the unaffiliated. Um, yeah, right? Now, all of a sudden, I have to be the one that drinks to something. So, I think, you see, I think that's the reason why he needed to get someone out that he could just I trick. I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. Right, come on, let's go. The laboratory oh, I just want to be right. Just want to be right. Come on. Find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. Alright, so I'm like here stealing stuff. Yeah, you're looking for the gold. This dude don't got no gold. But he got a portion that's worth some money. So I'm gonna go take that. I didn't plan it out too good. 